Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Help Your Collections page and in today's video we're going to be starting a brand new series Okay on survival mode guys So what I'm gonna do right here is go ahead and delete this survival mode save I have from 720 2017 that almost sounds like 420 But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and delete this because you know I'm not deleting my normal mode Yes R3 no problem Whatever button that is, okay. All right, cause we're gonna keep our normal mode here and we're going to start a survival mode save, okay? Because Atlas Rises is here. Emily woke up. So let's go ahead and start this game from the beginning, I suppose. And in this series, I wanna go ahead and go through the Artemis missions as well as the Atlas missions and we'll see how it really is you know as a brand new player and the only real difference about survival mode is that you know it takes more to use okay plutonium costs more okay um by cost i mean whenever you land your ship you're gonna have to use a hundred percent of plutonium to lift it off I, I believe it's harder to find some materials well Whatever, let's just check it out, okay? Let's see what kind of home planet we spawn on. We're on Hobarza Onoichi. Onoichi. Hobarza Onoichi. 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit and radiation toxicity normal. So guys, the story is the same throughout normal mode, survival, permadeath, and creative. So let's check it out. Hobaraz Onoichi Sagarados Keys System. All right. So the main difference, okay, let's go ahead and photo mode this. The main difference from the beginning when you compare normal mode to survival mode is your ship is far away. And also when you die on survival mode, I don't think you get your grave back, but I haven't really played much of survival mode. This planet looks kind of great. It's real pink. I really like it. So, let's see. We're on a radiated planet. How's my multi-tool? <sighs> this doesn't look like a class S uh, experimental multi-tool to me. Alright, first, first things first. I'm going to go inside of a building and get my bearings. Oh, I don't need to do much running. Starship located. Damage readout critical. New mission, multi-tool repair. Press options to change active missions. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is repair my multi-tool. Because I have a hunch that if I stay on this spawn planet long enough, I'm going to leave off with either a better multi-tool or a better ship. And one of the very first things I'm going to do, I'm not even going to worry about really finding a ship that's like has a great amount of slots i'm going to try to get these this here exosuit capacity all the way up because this is the equivalent to having a really great starship but let's check out our multi-tool here great i really like how this ship looks i actually want to keep this ship until i get a freighter but we'll see how that goes it's somewhere far, far away. That's all I know. So let's go options. Wait, what does that say on the bottom? Multi-tool repair, scanner, gather carbon. All right, let's go ahead and harvest carbon. Can I scan? Nope. I need iron. Okay, first things first, guys. Land and scan. We are going to fix this scanner first. Regardless. With this crap multi-tool.
How much carbon do I need to fix my scanner? Iron. Was it iron? Yeah, iron. We need 40 pieces and we have 25. Because I gotta get the landing and scanning on. That's the easy units. There goes a sentinel. I do not need his attention right now. Oh, now I guess I'll go ahead and already get this carbon since I'm using it. I thought that was iron. It looks like it would be iron. All right. Great. I'll go ahead and get this carbon since it already hit it once. Is that enough iron? First things first, get that multi-tool repaired. This is the tool that will... Oh, let's go inside of here first. Before you know, the radiation kills me because I forgot I have to keep my exosuit up to par. When we step inside of buildings, as you can see, the radiation will go right back up where we will heal pretty much. Not our life, but our shield will heal. And I'm going to go ahead and extract these nanites to begin with. We still need more carbon, but how is our multi-tool and scanner? Great. Oh, that's the analysis visor. <laughs> anyway, let's get some more carbon. Since our shield is healed up. Little bit more. This is a beautiful kind of desert planet. I like it. All right, let's step right back in here. Oh, I should go see what that question mark is in there. Technology recharge. One thing they did not change is that lady's voice. Objective complete, multi-tool and analyzer visor. You already know, Constellation Coalition. New mission, Starship Repair Launch Thrusters. I guess there is no question mark in here. All right, this is great. Great, we have our multi-tool repaired. As you can see, now we're gonna have to get our ship we're gonna have to get to our ship and as well repair our ship so how do you repair your starship when you when you first begin you know um your game save whatever you want to call it guys i'm just focused on i need to get iron okay it says we need five car right no we need seven car right sheets and car right sheets are simply made out of iron so if i go here to craft products as you can see, I'm on PS4, so I press square. Car right sheet, we already have that blueprint. We need 50 iron for one car right sheet, and we need seven of them in order to fix these here launch thrusters. After that, I'm going to need oh, a lot of heridium, which are those big blue mountains of rock. Okay. And then even more iron, as you can see, because we need four car right sheets, and then zinc. And zinc means sentinels. Unless I can find some plants. Let's go out here and scan to see if I'll be able to see any plants that have zinc on it. Oh, yeah, I forgot my, my scanner's lame. Oh, well, here goes some thanium. Oop, let me not run. Because when you run, it takes off more life. You see how the white bar at the bottom left corner of the screen is white? But when I run, two arrows pop up instead of one when I walk. That's why I'm going to be walking a lot until I get ready. But hey, we found some thanium, so that's the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is make sure to get a lot of iron from these rocks. Oh, I have my scanner on. Great. Now I can get those easy units first. Land and scan. Land and scan. Oh, I see. We're getting 200 units for all of these landing and scanning stuff. Remember, guys, easy Units, make sure you land and scan, but I'm just going to get this iron for the car right sheets 
as well as find some heridium and then we're going to worry about killing some sentinels for some zinc okay okay all right so just from landing and scanning all right hope y'all have seen that video i will put that link in the description how to make thousands of units in seconds you know well we've already got up to twenty thousand units okay i know it doesn't seem like a lot but when there's 18 quintillion planets and there are uh i don't know how many quintillion that equals into fauna and flora that means you can get a lot of units very quickly, okay? So anyways, as you can see, I already scanned in these things and I renamed everything Constellation Coalition because that's the squad that I rep when it comes to No Man's Sky. And we went ahead and I named this Craptastic because that's, that's the solar system. It's perfectly Craptastic and this is our first spawn planet so i went ahead and named this planet first spawn and when you go ahead and upload these units you will get units for uh well i called them units when you go ahead and upload these discoveries you will get easy units guys and the thing that i need to work on as you can see i already repaired my launch thrusters as well as the pulse engine and i want to show you guys that if you craft your chiride sheets Instead of crafting it inside of the exosuit, if you go ahead and craft them inside of your starship, you will be able to stack the items just like that, guys. So I have five chiride sheets here. I need four to repair my pulse engine. And now on the next episode, I'm going to be looking for heridium. But there goes some zinc right there. Let's see if I'll be able to get his attention. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and get some easy zinc, guys, because we need zinc. In order to fix our ship, I don't know where Heridium is. We're going to have to do that on a... Ah, oh, dang it. Well, that's no man's buy for you. I, I ran out of inventory space. Should have deleted this Iridium that I don't need. Here we go. I'll try one more time. YOLO. Give me that zinc. Because no zinc is popping up on my scanner. And these are basically floating zincs. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, that's probably Nerano module, so I don't need that anyways. I need nanites. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside of here. Because as you can see at the top left corner, we're about to die. Okay, so anyways. All right, we've made it. Okay, guys. So we completed the repair of our multi-tool. And we, we're on the search for plutonium because I'm not able to summon my starship until... I fixed this pulse engine, so in the next episode, I'm going to get more zinc and more heridium. Well, we're going to find some heridium on this planet. And yeah, guys, so if you're going to, if you enjoy this series, I hope you hit that like button for your girl, as well as subscribe to the channel, because this is survival mode in No Man's Sky, but this is basically normal mode in my opinion as well because it's the same story mode. The only difference is it's gonna be a bit harder to find the resources, but the story is gonna be the same. So even if you're playing normal mode, I hope you enjoy these videos because this is a tutorial on how to play No Man's Sky in general. And I'm gonna save the game right here. As you can see, I found the question mark. And guys, make sure you come over here and pick up the stuff all the time that's by this here question mark okay i gotta delete a lot of stuff this is just so nerve-wracking knowing that i hardly have any slots here so let's go ahead and pick up this here plutonium make sure you check the little red boxes by your spawn point okay and i already went and get and did this jettison pod earlier all right i want to say thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you guys enjoy this series and have a great day and enjoy your no man's sky gameplay okay peace out thanks a lot for watching